So you got some music theory that you don't understand Maybe you're in a choir or you're in a band This is called Alberti Bass But let's go slow, it's not a race I got one more thing to show you There's nothing that you can't do No, you can do anything I can Alright, this is called the Neapolitan It's a major chord built on the flat too And as you can tell, it's really nice yeah. Let's get into it, everybody. Hey, everybody. Another great question today. Before I get into it, if you want to ask your music theory question, uh, click that link right down in the description and ask away, and maybe I'll get to it on the show. But today we have a question uh, from Rafia. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but uh, Rafia says, if a trombone is a B-flat instrument written in C and a trumpet is a B-flat instrument written in B-flat, um, are the pitches on trombone the same as trumpet? Uh, and then the, the question is G4 on trumpet is G4 on trombone. So first of all, we have a naming convention to assign a different name to every single key on the piano. It's called scientific pitch notation. And so when this person is asking, what is a G4? Well, that's a specific key on the piano. So for example, this is C1. C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7. So the scientific pitch notation is saying if you ask any instrument, a vocalist, a flute player, a trumpet player, a trombone player, to play a C5, it's going to be this exact pitch and this exact octave. So with the question the way it's phrased, a G4 is a G4 is a G4, no matter what instrument. However, if you ask a trumpet player to play a C, not a C4, or a C5, just a C, well, my friends, they're gonna play a B flat. <laughs> so how do we explain this? It's convoluted, it's confusing, and it's hard to grasp. So let's try anyway. Let's just stick with valved brass, just to start to keep things a little bit under control. You've got a trumpet, and you've got, let's say, a baritone and a tuba, and you pick up any one of those instruments and you play the uh, fundamental note, the note where uh, you don't press any valves, what is the note that is going to resonate? It's a B flat on all of the instruments. Well, how can that be? They're so different. Well, a trumpet plays a B flat and a baritone plays a B flat and a tuba plays a B flat. They're an octave apart. And the way it, the physics of that is actually pretty interesting. A baritone is twice as big as a trumpet and a tuba is twice as big as a baritone or four times as big as a trumpet. That's just the physics. That's how long the tube is. So if we understand that, and we understand that if you just play a scale based on that open note, in this case, it's a B flat, it's a certain valve combination. And so if you uh, give a trumpet player a baritone and say, just play the same valve combination, it will be the same scale, just down an octave. And if you give a trumpet player a tuba and say, just play the same valve combinations, it'll be the same scale, but two octaves lower. Well, what happens if you throw a French horn in the mix? A French horn is about halfway the size between a baritone and a trumpet. So a typical French horn is made in the key of F, which means their open note is F. So let's give our trumpet player who's been playing the same valve combination for the B flat scale and different octaves, let's give them a French horn and they play the same valve combination. Well, now it's an F scale because the instrument is just a little bit longer than a trumpet, but not long enough to be a whole octave lower. It's a little confusing, but we're holding on, we're holding on. So the open note on a trumpet, a baritone and a tuba is a B flat. You play this specific valve combination and it's a B flat scale based on that open note. A French horn, their open note is F, so you play the same valve combination, and it's an F scale. Okay, okay. Here's where it gets really awful. When these instruments were being developed, we started writing sheet music for them. And did we base that sheet music on the piano? No. No, we didn't. We based that sheet music on the instruments themselves, whatever that open note was. So, <laughs> we take some sheet music, we write a uh, C, a concert C and we give it to our trumpet player. And what do they do? They play their open note, which is a B flat. Uh, okay. <laughs> so that C for a trumpet player does not mean the pitch C, it means their open note, okay? Which is a B flat as we know. 
we give that same sheet music to our French horn player and we say, play this. And they see a C and they play their open note, which is an F. Okay? So, so far, you can write the exact same note. Our trumpet player is going to go. And our French horn player is going to go. And it looks exactly the same on paper. Well, that's not great news. And then the trombone comes along and we're like, we're not going to do that. We're just going to read whatever that note is and then make it do that pitch. And so we would play a C. And so now you have the exact same piece of music and each musician is gonna play a different note. Okay, so now that we've gone through all of that, let's just ask the initial question one more time. And instead of using scientific pitch notation, let's use regular notation. And let's add French horn into the mix just to make it extra confusing. So if we write a G on a staff, and give it to a trombone player, a trumpet player, and a French horn player. What's gonna happen? Trombone player is just gonna play a G because we're easy like that. Okay, now we take that sheet music, that, that written G, we give it to the trumpet player. Here's how we figure this one out. Okay, G is how many notes above C? We'll start there and call that one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's the fifth note. Okay. But when they see their C, they're playing their open note, which is B flat. So now we start there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that's an F. So when we give that sheet music to the trumpet player and they see a G, they're going to play their G and it's gonna come out as an F. And then we go over to the French horn player. Their open note is F, we remember that. So we count up from there. One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to be a C. So when they have a G written, it's gonna come out as a C with the same valve combination as it would uh, as an F for trumpet and trombones don't have valves, so we're fine. Answer to the question if it is not in scientific pitch notation is a trumpet is going to play the F pitch, trombone is going to play a G pitch, and a French horn player is going to play a C pitch which is a nice sound. So just give everybody a G and you got that. Very nice. I use notation software. You can use like Muse Score or Note Flight or Finale or Sibelius or Dorico. These are all notation softwares that allow you to uh, write out the music and it transposes it for you so you don't have to do any of this madness. If you have a music theory question you want to ask, click that link right in the description and ask it and uh, maybe I'll get to it. Patreon donors, you get first dibs on those questions. So uh, if you want your question more likely to be answered, you can join us over on Patreon at patreon.com slash classical trombone. Woo! I'm tired. That's a tough one. It's tough because it's just the development of these instruments was kind of weirdly crudely put together and over time and the conventions change and so we come up with a consensus of how we're going to call the notes and what we're going to do and it just doesn't make a ton of sense when we look back and like figure out why we're doing what we're doing but we've taught all of these you know uh musicians in schools how to read music and we write it the same way so it's kind of too late to change it so that's what we got i hope this answered your question i know it's convoluted and crazy uh, it just is. It just is. 